Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy JR Ian. Right now, I see the title down below. It's a If You First Listen. Now, you know, Big Bang releases like EPs or single albums, kind of. Like with two songs each, probably. And this is the D album. So they're giving you the D. Slap myself because I was a stupid ass joke. So I'm going to check out the lyrics first before I get into this first listen. You know how first listens work. I'm not going to show you the whole song, but... You're gonna hear parts of it, and I'm gonna show you parts of my of what I thought about it. So you, let's begin. But first, let me just read the English lyrics so we understand what the song's about, since it's just one song, and it's gonna be a short video. But you know what? I'm gonna extend it by you know looking at the lyrics and everything. All right. So it says in the beginning, it says Big Bang. If you she is leaving, and I can't do anything. Love is leaving like a fool. I'm blankly standing here. I'm looking at her, getting farther away. She becomes a small dot and disappears. Will this go away after time passes? I remember the old times. I remember you. If you, if you, if it's not too late, can we get back together? If you, if you, if you're struggling like I am, can we make things a little easier? I should have treated you better when I had you. How about you? Are you really fine? Yes, our breakup is setting. I should forget you, but it's not easy. Basically, missing someone, the, the other half, there's like, if you, if you, like, you know, come back into my life, you think we can work this out? It's kind of like pleading, like, kind of like for their love. You know what I'm saying? So it's a, it's a sad song. So now that we know the actual meaning of it, let's check it out. We in Lord of the Rings? Narnia? Game of Thrones? Alright, I'll stop. It's top. Oh, it's top. Okay. You know, sometimes I get confused with Sungri sometimes and Taeyang a little bit. Whoa. You know why people are crying to this? I don't think I'll cry to this, but it's it's a it's a raw song. You know what I'm saying? It's like raw as an onion that makes you cry. Oh, I'm a little okay. Wait, hold up, hold up. I don't know why it's happening. What the fuck? Day song came in there like a bang. Then that's that's Taeyang. Wait, so was the beginning Sungri or Taeyang? That's Taeyang. Cause Sungri has like a light-hearted voice too, sometimes. I like that breakdown. Ooh, that was dope. Ooh, that was nice. Okay. Obviously, uh, I know I heard that people were crying or they teared up to it. Or uh, I mean, I get it. And almost, almost, almost here. I don't know why. When I said it, it felt raw. <laughs> Pause. You know how I, how I feel when you know like the song is just raw and open. It's not wrong. It's definitely a sad song. Very well composed song. I liked it. Um, very simple. Uh, as well, I just like the way that, that they did the voices. At, because if they kept on doing the same pace, I like how they went like na 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 na, like how they switched it up a tiny bit. That's pretty dope. The A album or singles were um very bang 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 was turn up ish. It was turn up. Um, we like to party was you know that summer anthem. Uh, sober is def for, from the D album. Duh. That they'd rather be drunk than face reality, I think, right? I think that's what it is. I could be wrong again. Um, of course, I could go back and look at it again and then, you know, you know, do my research. Uh, if you, very sad song. Sober, dope. Um, M with Loser and Bebe. Loser is a sad song. Damn, sad. The thing is that Big Bang knows how to connect emotionally. Every, I've been going back to the disc discography. Like, their famous song that got them big was which one? Haru Haru. Ha, ha, I don't know if I said it wrong. I said it wrong, probably. Haru Haru. Um, I showed my dad, and it, you know, it's sad. It's a sad MV. It's a sad song. 
You know what I'm saying? And that's what... Then that, is that the one that got them really... Like, you know, that got them on the spot. Like, like before they, you know, like, got everybody's attention. Like, oh my god, this MV, I connect with it. Something kind of like that. Um, but if you look at Big Bang in the beginning, like, Always. Have you heard Always? Um, like, I have um, their album... Yeah, here, their first album. So they always had sad songs that you connect with. They're not always turn up, but their famous songs like Fantastic Baby, probably Bang 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 is going to be popular as hell uh, because people like that turn up song because they could go turn up, they could go to this side. A lot of a lot of other K-pop groups could do that too, I, I feel like. Um, but I don't know, there's a difference for me especially uh, that I connected with Big Bang. Um, but that's just me in general. Uh, I mean, there's always like your K-pop group that you connect with. And my K-pop group that I connect with is either Big Bang or 21. Sometimes Shiny as well, because Shiny gets me sometimes. I'd say out of all the um, album releases or album singles that I released, I, my favorite one is... Oof, it's kind of tough. But I like A, and then M, and then D. D is my least favorite because I don't think I'll always be bumping to it all the time. Hope you guys like this video. Go check out my reaction video to Sober. It's freaking dope. The intro's dope. And the homie, the bro, uh, Salvi Makne is in the intro. Can you guess where he is? And yeah. Also, here's a few channels that I've been working with. Um, I'll put in a link down below. The K Cafe. I've been working with uh, the homie Veron. Uh, it's an informative K-pop channel. Uh, and you guys could check the uh, channel down below in the description down below. Thank you for watching. Check out the video after this, uh, after I'm done talking. And yeah, this is your boy JRE from JRE KML. Listen to K-pop, it feels good. Listen to Big Bang, it feels good. Listen to music in general, it feels good. Because it gives you that feeling. You know what I'm talking about? Anyways, bye for now. Alright? Bye. Like, oh, you want boobies? Oh, Todd, what the hell? You know what? After your IG videos?